Hey everyone, it's uh, Rob from Zool Gaming, and today I bring you another class guide for Darkest Dungeon, this time uh, for the Bounty Hunter. And the Bounty Hunter, needless to say, is one of my favorite classes in Darkest Dungeon. As you can see, I've even named this guy Zool because uh, he's my main go-to guy. He's uh, He just uh, melts bosses and does a, lot, a ton of DPS, and um, I'll explain why. So, uh, if we look at his combat skills, uh, he's got uh, his first ability, which is going to be his main uh, melee ability. It's called Collect Bounty. And what it does is it's going to buff your uh, damage and for uh, marked and uh, versus humans as well. So, uh, you, you know, you, you want to bring him into uh, a group that's mark friendly and he'll be doing a ton of damage. Uh, he's got a nice crit mod too, 7%, it goes a long way. Uh, the only downside to the ability is uh, that it's uh, a low accuracy based and uh, it misses if you if you do not uh, uh, complement it with either quirks or uh, trinkets. For Mark for Death is another important ability for him because uh, he's going to need to do a lot of uh, marking in, in order to do a lot of damage. So uh, he, you know, and, 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 his, and this mark specifically is, is quite good because it's going to lower prot from, uh, from the uh, enemy, enemy side. So uh, it's definitely a, a go-to ability that uh, should, be, should be equipped uh, in the Bounty Hunter, if you ask me. Um, Come hither uh, is uh, is an, it's it's good, but uh, I it's it's a little gimmicky because uh, you know it, it does minimal damage, but it's gonna bring uh, those uh, last two positions in your enemy side forward because it has uh, pull two ability. So if you ha you're in a group where uh, you know you don't have uh, too many characters or too many uh, heroes that are going to affect the last two uh, last two um, uh, positions in your enemy's team. Uh, this could be very uh, helpful to uh, bring him forward and being able to damage them. I usually do not uh, equip this ability because I tend to build a group that's going to be able to uh, affect uh, you know if, uh, efficiently those last two slots. Uh, same case is with uppercut. Uh, it's gonna knock back, uh, but it also stuns. So, you know, it, it does have a stun component to it, which is good. Uh, it's it's a high percentage as well, 164 uh, percent. And the knockback is uh, is useful as well if you want to, you know, move targets into. Uh, th those back positions so you your let's say an arbalist can hit it uh, efficiently or even an occultist uh, with his, one of his abilities that affects the two last uh, the two last uh, enemy positions but um, once again I usually do not uh, mess with this one either because it's once again to get Mickey uh, uh, moving moving um, enemies back and forth can be a little tricky uh, sometimes. Uh, now, Flashbang. Flashbang is uh, a very good stun, and uh, it also has Shuffle, which is good, and um, it can be good and it can be bad, uh, because, uh, you know, if, if there's a character on the backside, you stun him, it might move him forward, or, or he might you know shuffle in a way where he is still uh, still out of your uh, range but um uh what i like about uh this ability is the stun base uh it's gonna it's gonna stun uh almost every time uh, that you throw it so that's why i like it um finish him is uh something that can be used uh, on its own but it's mostly it's mostly um uh efficient or it's you know more efficient if you use it versus stun targets so you can use it after either a flashbang or an uppercut for example uh, or if any of, of your other characters in, in your team uh, have any stuns it's uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be good because once you hit the target it's gonna do 60% uh, damage uh, uh, versus the, that stun target so it's pretty good it's a pretty good finisher as it says uh, now, Hook and Slice is uh, a good bleed as well, uh, because it's it's actually five points in, in three rounds, and you can stack it as uh, most bleeds. So, 
you know, you'll be able to, and the good thing about this one is you'll be able to affect the third and fourth uh, position in, in your enemy's team. So you can say the bounty hunter with his abilities has access to all four slots, but honestly, uh, he's going to be more efficient uh, uh, to the first uh, two, I would say, and then kind of in the mid range for the third position, and then not as efficient uh, on the. Um, on the last position on your enemy side, so uh, I would uh, I would focus on uh, the first and second position and third. Uh, so my recommended uh, my recommended setup for for a bounty hunter would be the one you're you're seeing right now because it's gonna bring you the best of of the bounty hunter, uh, and you can use other characters to uh, affect uh, you know the the, the last. Uh, uh, Two, uh, two slots uh, on your enemy side. Um, uh, he's best uh, positioned in either the third or uh, second position of your team, so that's where he uh, where he belongs, I would say. All right, uh, moving to his uh, base stats. So on his base stats, you would want to focus once again, since he's a D uh, DPS character, on the right side of the uh, of, of his uh, base stats. Uh, but you want to you want to affect his accuracy, uh, crit, and damage. Uh, accuracy, it, it is a big thing because most of his abilities are not uh, do not have uh, great accuracy modifiers. So you want to be uh, affecting it with either uh, trinkets or or quirks, uh, anything that's going to give you accuracy, crit, and damage is going to be good. Uh, also, uh, for for his speed, I would say the more the merrier, because um, is he if he's in a in a group that's going to be marking, uh, he you know he's he's probably going to be your first marker or your second person that marks. Uh, so the more speed you have on him. Uh, in my opinion, the better. Uh, that way he can uh, set the mark up and then the rest of your team can go and just uh, wreak havoc on, on the mark target, for example. Uh, also, if you notice, his uh, HP is not the greatest. Uh, at max level, he has 45, which is very, very low for someone that uh, lives in the second or third position. Uh, I usually have him in the second position and he gets hit a lot. So I find myself trying to heal him or protect him. Uh, but um, he does uh, put out a lot of damage. Uh, he's, he's got a nice uh, base, uh, base dodge. But, um, you know, it's, it's, it's something you can kind of go uh, twofold. You can either make him a full um, DPS and just focus on his DPS uh, abilities and bumping those up. Or you can kind of, you know, be in the middle where he's you you're gonna uh, bump up his uh his his dps but also um uh, work on his uh on his dodge so he's uh he's evasive um you know it, that's gonna be depending on your play style and and your choice um when it comes to quirks what i can recommend is uh, anything that's going to give you once again crit or damage or accuracy so a few that i can mention are deadly which are going to it's going to give you one percent crit you can go with slugger which is going to give 10 percent damage to um, melee skills uh, also uh, quick reflexes is good because it, uh, it bumps up your speed um, another one that uh, y you're not seeing here uh, would be natural swing which is going to add five accuracy uh, to uh, your abilities. Also, Precise Striker, which does 3% crit to uh, melee. Uh, and you can go, if you want, with Tough uh, to kind of uh, bump up those HPs. Uh, and Tough, what it does is it gives 10% uh, max HP. Uh, so he, he can benefit from, from those quirks pretty much. Um, but uh, for example, for this one, as you see, he's he's got all his negative quirks uh, cleared, and uh, what I'm actually waiting for, and that's why I haven't taken him into the uh, last dungeon, um, is either natural swing, or I would prefer actually pre pre precise striker, just because I want him to be as uh, DPS as you know to have the most DPS as possible. 
So in in the end, he he he'll have a four percent extra crit, for example, just from uh, quirks, and then uh, the ten percent extra damage, uh, which uh, which is pretty good. All right, um, moving to his camping skills. Uh, his camping skills, uh, like I've mentioned in the past, these first three are interchangeable, and you can move them around depending on uh, what your group uh, uh, has and what camping skills you're bringing on your other characters. Uh, but when it comes to his class specific, um, he is pretty good ones. Um, they're more utilitarian than any anything else. Uh, for example, this is how we do it. Uh, it's going to buff yourself. Uh, it's going to give you accuracy to kind of, you know, mitigate that l low accuracy he has on his abilities. And it's going to bump up your crit. So this one's good. I usually bring it when I don't have to deal, for example, with uh, bosses or, or anything like that. Normal dungeon runs, pretty much. That are, you know, and, and I'm going to camp, of course. Um, tracking is good because it's... Uh, it's gonna help you to surprise your enemies and not get surprised as often. Uh, I like this one because it's it goes a long way in uh, in dungeons uh, with uh, you know that that are dark you know the completely dark dungeons without torch or anything like that. It it goes a long way. Uh, I like it. Um, plan takedown is going to be good for boss encounters. As you can see, it's going to bump your damage and your accuracy uh, versus size 2, which, you know, um, that's what boss's size is, you know, is pretty much. So it's going to help you, it's going to help you take those down those bosses quicker. So I only equip it when I'm when I'm I know that I'm going into a boss fight. Uh, scout ahead, uh, He's already a, a pretty decent scout, but with this ability, he's going to be scouting uh, pretty much all the time. Uh, if not, uh, uh, maybe he'll miss one or two, you know, in, in a dungeon, but he he's going to keep your map pretty um, revealed because it adds 35% uh, scouting chance. And uh, once those uh, four battles are, are off, of course, you, you lose the buff. All right. Um... Let's go with the... Uh, uh, actually, let me mention uh, something about his resistances. As you can see, he has pretty decent resistances. Um, but what shines for him is uh, his trap percentage, which is 95%, which is pretty good. So he's one of my um, main uh, trap disarmers, pretty much. So, yep. Uh, when it comes to trinkets, um, what I can mention for him is once again so anything that's gonna um, that's gonna help his accuracy crit, crit and damage and speed. So starting from uh, the green ones, I would suggest, uh, for example, the swift cloak, uh, which is gonna add speed. Uh, surgical gloves, which is gonna give you accuracy and crit. Uh, yes, it's at, at the cost of move and and debuff resist, but uh, you know early on you can you can get away with it. Uh, another another trinket I would uh, recommend early on is uh, Gambler's Charm because of uh, you know he he's got very low HP so this is gonna complement your HPs pretty nicely. Uh, another one I would say is uh, let's see uh, like I've suggested in my other videos uh, the Sun Ring and Sun Cloak for. Um, dungeons that are that are gonna have uh, a torch above 75%, and I would go with the moon cloak and moon ring if you're doing um, uh, dark dungeons. So I uh, always recommend those on uh, DPS classes because they're they're actually pretty good. Another one that uh, I used early on was the recovery charm, just because once again he had low HP and he, li you know, I usually use him in the uh, second slot. He would get hit a lot, so I wanted to he heal him a little better. So this is something that uh, helped me as well, that I would recommend. Uh, this one's good for HP. Uh, it's going to reduce your speed by a bit, but you can kind of balance it out with other with other trinkets. Uh, like always, Feather Crystal is pretty good. It's gonna add uh, speed and dodge. So I like this one as well. 
what else? Let's see. When it comes to you know yeah the the higher end uh, trinkets, this is uh, a specific one for him that's pretty good. Uh, it's gonna bump up that damage by 20% uh, at the cost of move uh, skill chance. So just be cognizant of that. But it's it's some it's one I I used uh, consistently. Uh, another one that I can recommend is this one right here, the Legendary Bracer. Once again, 20% uh, damage, but it's going to cost you some uh, some speed, which you can um, mitigate by adding another trinket. But um, this is not, not, not my <laughs> top uh, go-to trinket, of course. Uh, another one that uh, I recommend and actually use quite consistently is the Focus Ring to uh, bump up that accuracy, and it also gives me some crit. So it's it's minimal, but uh, you know one percent, it's it's good. Um, he already crits a lot, but the major thing is that uh, t those twelve accuracy, they they really go a long way. Uh, another one that I like is the um, crescendo box because it's going to add speed and damage. I I use this a lot as well. Uh, when it comes to this one, Dismas Head uh, also uh, adds damage, but at the cost of HP. So uh, when using this, I would pr uh, use another trinket, for example, one of the blue ones that would give me uh, uh, more HP to to uh, just make sure that uh, it doesn't affect me as much. It does have a lot of stress though, so be be very careful when using this one. Uh, the Ancestor's Pen. Uh, I like and I use as well is uh, it gives you a 5% crit and 15% damage to melee skills so once again this one's a, a go-to option and um, this brings me to my recommended setting uh, which is this pen and I use one of the trophies which is the only one that I would probably uh, recommend for um, for the bounty hunter maybe not the only one but the uh, the main one I would say which is uh, Wolf's Tassel which is gonna give you extra accuracy and damage for uh, for marked targets it also gives you 3% crit uh, to non boss characters so this is how I usually um, roll with him Ancestor's Pen uh, and uh, Wolf's Tassel or Wolf's Tassel so it's, it's a pretty good setup, I, I think. Other trophies that you could um, equip uh, maybe to increase his dodge would be Wilbur's Flag. Uh, this is uh, something I've, I've used in the past when I want him to be more, more dodgy. But um, my, general, my general consensus on him is uh, he's a damage dealer and all I want him to do is damage. So I'm kind of obsessed on this on this guy for just uh, doing damage so I go straight forward for damage all right guys uh, well this is uh, my guide for the uh, bounty hunter hope you liked it uh, if you do hit that uh, like button subscribe and uh, make sure to check the description for my Twitter Instagram and Facebook as well as my email uh, all right guys thank you <laughs>